Hello from Unified Oski. Your success is what brings joy to us. Yeah, we're looking at evidence-based and with the topic focus, fever in children. This is a silent written station. You have 10 minutes to complete the station. Please write clearly and legibly. Identify the main points from the summary and apply the findings to the scenario, article scenario. So we have the scenario, a mother named Sela to a child in your care is worried about a child who developed sudden fever. As the nurse in accident and emergency, she asks you if this is normal and what medication will be effective to bring the temperature down. Now we have the research studies. We have a research studies summarized and is titled Fever in Children and Fever Management Evidence versus Current Practice. A research findings reported fever as part of the defense mechanism against infection and that it is recommended to treat fever when is resulting in distress among children. Fever can be managed with tepid sponge bath, with administration of antipyretics, paracetamol, and ibuprofen are reported to be effective and safer to treat fever. Ibuprofen used with food reduced gastric actions. However, ibuprofen can be used with or without food in a short term use for maximum of seven days. Children with respiratory conditions shows exacerbations of symptoms, especially asthma cases, if paracetamol and ibuprofen has been given. In conclusion, all healthcare professionals assume that ibuprofen has more advert effects than paracetamol. However, evidence of findings to support this remain or claims remain unsettled. So now I'll put my points in bullet point. I will explain to seller that fever is an important immune mechanism in fighting underlying infection and that it is recommended to treat fever only when it is causing child distress. I will explain to Sela that both paracetamol and ibuprofen can be safely used to treat fever. I will inform Sela that it is recommended that ibuprofen is taken with food to reduce potential gastric side effects and that the child should be encouraged to eat something when taking ibuprofen. However, I will make Selai to understand that ibuprofen is safe to administer with food or without food in the short term of seven days. I will inform Selai that if a child has asthma, both ibuprofen and paracetamol can exacerbate respiratory symptoms. I will explain to Selai that healthcare professionals may perceive that ibuprofen has more adverse effects than paracetamol but that but that there is not evidence to support this there is no enough claim to support this and that is your evidence based fever in children wishing you all the best thank you